Hey, it's Pestle Lovers. Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today I'm going to help you answer the question, what grind setting should I use for espresso? Oh, and check out our new studio. We've been off from producing new videos for a few weeks while we rebuilt our studio and upgraded our production capabilities to bring you even more content. Now, while we were out of production mode, I was still answering a lot of questions in the video comments. If you have any espresso or coffee questions, use those comments and I'll do my best to get you a detailed response, usually in one business day. Anyway, far and away, the most common question I get is, what grind setting should I use? So today, I'm gonna help answer that question for you. It's relatively easy to get your grind right using a process called dialing in. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Know that after bean selection, getting your grind size right is the most critical variable in producing the best possible extraction. I'll also have some additional tips with regards to grinding coffee and grind size, including how you can stop static and why grind size is not set and forget. So do stick around for those. Now to be clear, the technique I'll cover in this video applies to making espresso in standard, non-pressurized filter baskets. If using a lower cost entry level espresso appliance, your appliance that likely uses a pressurized filter basket. With those, grind size changes have little if any effect on extraction timing. If you'd like to learn more about that, use the link up here or down in the description to check out my video comparing espresso made in pressurized and non-pressurized baskets. So you can see how small changes in grind size affect espresso extractions. I'll show you three extractions side by side in real time, each at a slightly different grind size. Now, a basic but breakable rule of espresso is extraction should take somewhere between 20 and 30 seconds. To get a basic idea of how the three shots compare, I'll run an on-screen timer starting at first drip. I use first drip to get rid of differences with pre-infusion and pump types. When you get the grind size dialed in right, you'll get richer crema with full body, balanced flavor, and you'll be producing to the potential of your beans. The shot to the right, that one's under extracting. The flow, it's far too fast. It's making crema due to a forgiving coffee, but it's gonna lack body and is likely to be unbalanced with sour flavors. The shot on the left, it's over extracting. Visually, it may you know, look okay, but it's likely to be bitter and unbalanced, and the flow is far too slow. Shot in the middle, finished at 27 seconds. That's within the recommended timing of 20 to 30 seconds. That's gonna be your goal when dialing in that shot in the middle. So dialing in is very simple. The goal is to produce a double espresso of 60 milliliters or two ounces in 20 to 30 seconds from the first drip of espresso from your portafilter spouts. To get there, you adjust the grind size over a series of shots until you hit that timing. If your shot is coming too fast, adjust the grind a little finer. If it's too slow, adjust your grind a little coarser. Simple, right? Well, it really is so long as you keep all other variables the same. That means use the same coffee, the same amount of coffee, and it's gonna be best to weigh the coffee dose for that. Have good distribution of grounds in your filter basket, even tamping and or leveling, and use the same brew temperature for each extraction. Expect to go through some coffee as you dial in. Don't worry if it takes you five or six shots as you learn the dialing in process and how a size adjustment on your particular grinder affects extraction timing. But as you get to know your grinder, it will take fewer and fewer shots to get dialed in. And really focus on keeping those other variables constant so it's only the grind size change affecting your extraction timing. So let me take you through dialing in from start to finish, but first some tools to help you control those other variables. First is your grinder. A stepless model gives you more control over grind size. Now, I'm gonna be using a Barazza Sete 270WI. It distributes fluffy grinds very evenly to a preset weight directly into a portafilter. It's essentially stepless with macro and micro adjustment rings. 
Lacking a grinder that weighs as it grinds, like the Sete 270WI, you can use an external scale like this to weigh your grinds, or if you don't have a scale, you can slightly overfill a double shot basket and swipe with a finger to level. With most stock double shot 58 millimeter baskets, that'll get you a weight of about 17 grams. From there, tamp your coffee and make sure it's level. Uneven tamping can lead to channeling of brew water through the coffee puck, which will throw off your results. Actual tamping pressure, that's really not all that critical. Just be slightly firm and try to use the same pressure for each tamp. Now, personally, I've gone to using levelers like this one. They distribute and compress the coffee evenly and increase consistency. I'm brewing on the ECM Classica. It's a single boiler PID machine, a serious tool for those who are more about the espresso and will do occasional milk drinks. That PID gives you accurate and reliable brew temps from shot to shot. For coffee, I'm using Maromas Orfea. It's a favorite of mine and lots of our customers. It's an easy to work with Italian style bean blend with low acidity that produces a rich balanced cup with chocolate notes and lots of crema when the grind is right. So to start, I'll grind some coffee through looking for a grind size somewhere between table salt and granulated sugar. Once there, I'll grind 17 grams into my portafilter, use my leveler to distribute and compress the coffee and pull my shot. Now, this one came too slow with the 60 milliliters and I'm adding an extra 10 milliliters to account for the crema coming in 39 seconds from first drip. Based on those results, I'm gonna adjust my grind a little coarser in hopes of speeding up the extraction. Now, do note, depending on the grinder you are using, you may need to grind off and discard three to six grams of coffee after making a grind size change to flush out any grinds retained in the grinder at the old grind setting. My next shot with the slight grind size change to a coarser setting came in at 17 seconds for the 60 milliliters plus crema compensation. I'm getting closer, really almost there. I want my shot to come just a little slower, so one more grind size change, just a hair finer, and I think I'll have it. So grind into the portafilter, level, and compress, and here we go. Just remember, whatever tools you are using, consistency is key. Try to keep everything the same except for grind size. Now, this shot looks like the one. It ends up finishing at 26 seconds from first drip, with that, I'm dialed in. A couple of notes, timing shots like this is the most basic method of getting your extractions into the ballpark. And for some people, timing and taste are as far as they're gonna need to go. Beyond that are brew ratios where you weigh the results of an extraction and compare that to the amount of ground coffee used. If interested, you can check out my video on using brew ratios using the link up here, or again, that'll be down in the description. Timing a shot is not the end all. I've had delicious shots that ran 40 seconds. In the end, it's a, about getting a flavor you like. At the start of the video, I mentioned some additional tips. First, controlling grinder static. In most cases, static is the result of low ambient humidity like you have indoors during heating season. A simple fix for static is to wet the beans a little prior to grinding. That can be done with a spray mister like this or just use a damp finger to stir the beans prior to grinding. Also, don't expect your grind setting to be set and forget. When you change coffee, dose weight, or as beans age, you will likely need to make some grind size adjustments. If you have questions about dialing in grind or anything coffee, use those comments and I'll get you the answers. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and come on back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.